Hi crocheters and, and crocheters in training. My name is Ritu and welcome to my channel. This is the seventh video on my how to crochet the basics playlist. If you haven't already, you may want to check this playlist out and watch the previous videos. Today I'll be talking about how to do, how to weave in these ends. Let's get started. So as you can see, I already weaved in the ends for the green, just so I can show you how uh, weaved in end looks. Like, as you might have seen in the last video, I did have some ends here and here. And now we're going to weave in the, the yellow ends and also the teal ends. So I'm going to show you how to weave in ends first with a hook and then with this tapestry needle. I usually use a little, a smaller hook when weaving in ends. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook right now. So we're going to insert into this hole here, but it doesn't really matter. And just like weave back and forth, yarn over, bring it out. Now weave back and forth again. Like make sure it's not going through the same holes, but like different ones and yarn over, pull through. And now, uh, if um, you can see these like little V's, we're going to bring the yarn through those. So put your hook in that and then in there. And now you're going to yarn over and bring that through. Now you're going to get your scissors and snip as close as possible to the last stitch area. So just snip there pull that off and that's it now i am going to show you how to weave ends in using a tapestry needle so you're going to want to weave it in like that back and forth and bring thread this in Now pull cross. Now you will take your needle again and go back to the end of the row. Now put this back in and pull through. Now, in the row above, you can see these like little V's and you're going to put your needle in between them. Make sure you cannot see it on the other side. So you're just going to put it through those and I'd recommend about three to four stitches. So that's four stitches of V's and now I'm going to take that yarn and thread it into the needle and bring it through. It may be a little tight using a tapestry needle, but it will get through. Might have to pull a bit though. And um, now that you did that, you're going to want to cut as close as possible to and there you have it is weaved in well you can keep practicing weaving in ends by weaving in ends for every other swatch you made and making more stuff and weaving in the ends for that well thanks for watching this video if you like this please like and share to any other crocheters or crocheters to be and subscribe for similar content my plan for the next playlist is like maybe like a blanket or something um this is the last video of the playlist, unless I think of anything else that could be essential when learning to crochet, but that's all I really knew when learning, so until my next video, have fun crocheting, bye!